What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie to 988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And today, we're going to open up some Modern Masters. I know I haven't been uploading to this channel very often lately, but I do want to upload here today. Uh, this is going to be pretty cool. We've already opened two of these boxes, and I have to say, with these two boxes, I have definitely enjoyed um, some very valuable and good cards. Whether or not this third box can hold out, time will be told. And look, it's already open a little bit there on the bottom. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. But here we go. We're going to try to get lucky. Now, I'm currently filming this live on Twitch. I know the background is out of focus a little bit, but that's the way we can focus on things that we put here so you can read the cards and see the art. Um, so bear with me while it's a little bit fuzzy right now. But uh, my first box was fairly bad, and my second box was fairly good. And I opened all of these live on my Twitch channel. If you decide you ever want to come see me stream... Uh, my schedule is uh, posted on the website, twitch.tv slash boogie2988. I don't really stream on YouTube. I stream exclusively on Twitch for now. That might change one day. Um, I will be keeping my packs together because as much as I like just opening these packs for you and owning them for me, if I keep my packs together in the order that they came in, you know, the, all of the cards together in a single pack, separated by the token slash rules card, guess what? Then me and my friends can draft these boxes, and we will. I'm only going to show off the rares here. The uncommons have some value. We might scan through the uncommons, but here we go. Pack number one, Golem. Our foil is Night Terrors. Rare is Sever the Bloodlines. Ugh. Wooly Thoktar, Creepy, Crumbling Necropolis, Might of Old Croza. Nothing too interesting there. Nothing too interesting there. Here is our foil, Scorched Rizalka. That card was pretty good in Standard when it was available. I don't think it's probably doing anything in Modern, but it had its uses then. Oh, starting the box off right with Verdant Catacomb. Very good. Very good. Uh, that is, I think, my sixth fetch out of three boxes. So that seems about right. Uh, getting about two per box is pretty, pretty much what you can expect. Here is attended, attended Knight, and one of my favorite cards ever printed, Primal Command. Worth like a buck, I think, right now, but one of my favorite cards. Uh, I often tell the story, uh, I did cast a Primal Command to search for the right creature, um, and then also to return a land to my opponent's hand. Chose a man land, and in response to that, he turned his man land into a creature, fizzling the spell entirely and causing me to lose. Terrible, terrible game. Gruel, Gruel Guildgate is our foil and our rare. Oh, nice. Mythic. I don't know if this Mythic's worth anything. It's not the kind of Mythic I even play with. I don't even think this is in my cube because I don't really like playing with miracles in my, my big cube. And Treat the Angels, though. Nice Mythic. Hope it's got some value. Um, good one to pull. Oh, nice. One of my favorite cards ever printed as well. Lingering Souls. I always like black and white, and I always like token decks, and black white tokens was insane. I love this art. And that foiling is gorgeous. Wow. Wow, nice hit there. Our rare is Advent of the Worm. Now I have a problem here. <laughs> Return to Ravnica was when they really ramped up the print numbers, right? And so I feel like it could have been literally any other modern set that they had the rares from. I don't think Advent of the Worm is, is doing much in Modern, but I don't know Modern very well. I could be wrong. But that seems like a weird choice. Anything from Return to Ravnica seems like a weird choice. There's a Battle Rattle Shaman. Nice. One of my favorite creatures ever printed. And you're going to hear that a lot. You're going to hear that a lot with this set because this is one of my favorite sets ever printed. There's so many good cards in here. Goblin Guide. This card just defines the way I play Magic. I love Goblin Guide, man. So good. So good. Serum Visions has an uncommon in there. Nice. Very nice. Nice to see Serum Visions reprinted and add uncommon in the set. I know it's the second time it's got reprinted lately, but let's get it down to 25 cents or a nickel. Talon Trooper. And our rare, Terminus. Hmm, again, I, I don't know if that sees much play in Modern, but it's, it's okay. Again, like I said, I don't really like to play with Miracles. Because it, you just kind of have to draw a special. I guess in casual, you know, in casual, you can trust your friends. But can you really? Can you ever trust anyone? Delirium Skeins. Wow, that card costs three. I've always thought that cost two for some reason. 
Like, it makes sense that it costs three. A rare phantasmal image. I really feel like this set really kind of captures a very specific standard that I remember. That when the, the, the this was standard as the, the core set. Great creature, man. I love phantasmal image. Vampire Nighthawk there. That's our uncommon. Can't wait to draft this set. Just really can't wait to draft it. There is Mog Flunkies. This defined the original slide deck that I played, took to a tournament, and made my first top eight at the Pro Tour qualifier. Kind of cool. Zur the Enchanter. This card did nothing in its standard, I don't think. I don't remember this doing anything. Um, it was such a weird thing to me that this was valuable because this was in dollar folders for a while in our, in our local gaming group. So, But I know he's a hell of a commander. I think in a lot of our commander playgroups, he's just banned. I think people just don't like to play against Zerg. So, I don't know. But it's good to see him reprinted. Out of all of the Cold Snap legends, I think he's easily the best one. Sin Collector. Nice foiling on that. Uh, Wizards of the Coast, you did an incredible job foiling this set. Thank you. Ranger of Eos. This is definitely one of those cards I play in cube a lot. Really love this dude. Um... Azure Mage, Tedermung, Crumlin, Necropolis. Necropolis. Here's a foil Slesnia Signet. No real value there, but I would like to get a foil from the set of, of each Signet. Did they put five Signets in here or ten Signets? I think they may only have put five in. Well, there she is. Olivia Voldaren. <laughs> One of the very few creatures in the game that I just hate to play against. <laughs> Uh, she's good, and I like her colors, and I like I still like her art to this day, even though her art doesn't make sense. Did they change the art? No, they didn't. She's still tugging at her dress, even though it's supposed to look like she's holding her knee. I thought they might have altered the art and fixed the art for this, but no, they did not. I figured with a reprint of her, they would fix it, but good card. Hard to beat. Very hard to beat card. If you have about six mana when you play her, then things get bad. Mystical Teachings. That card was an annoying deck an annoying deck back in the day. Was it... Uh, oh, is it Lim Duel? Was the, the card that, that that ran that deck? Niv-Mizzet Dracogenesis. I wish it had the... Uh, oh, no, this is the Ravnica version. Not the original. This is the Ravnica version, right? Or no, which version is this? Well, jeez, I can't remember. My brain is melting. Uh, flying. When it does it, uh, Dracogenesis deals damage to a player. You may draw a card. Uh, blue and a red. It deals one damage to target creature or player. And so with a damage to a player, you can draw a card. I guess that's the original. But the art is weird. I thought that's the Ravna card. I don't know. I don't know. Pyrewild Shaman at Uncommon. That's weird. But maybe that card will get played at Uncommon because it sure didn't get played in Standard and it's rare. Yeah, I guess that's the Return to Ravna version. Oh, there's our first foil rare out of this box. And only my second foil rare out of all of this stuff. Ranger of Eos. Beautiful. 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 And our rare... <laughs> May as well be blank cardboard. Mind shatter. <laughs> Compulsive Research, Mystic Genesis, and Inquisition as our uncommons there. Kind of nice. Trying to keep all of these packs together so that we will be able to draft them. And, uh, of course, as usual, when it comes to these boxes, it is possible to get value out of these boxes, especially if you get below the $200 mark, you know, 240 MSRP. But if you can find it at 200 if you can find it at 150 you know, you, you're almost guaranteed profit. But, Simic Sky Swallower there as well. But, if you're trying to build a modern deck, this is a terrible way to do it. Build your modern decks by buying the singles, especially a few weeks after Modern Masters comes out, because they drop in price dramatically. Dramatically. Uh, Rootborn defenses. But, if you just have fun cracking boxes, I get it. That's okay. If that's how you want to spend your money and you make some of your money back, that's why I do it. That's how I do it. Alternatively, though, I still think drafting any set is the best way to open packs. Drafting with your friends, even if you just do sealed with your friends, it's a great way to do it. Um, and I recommend it highly. Aether Toe is our foil. And that's why I'm keeping these together, because I think it's the best way to get the best value. Call of the Herd. Huh? Who? What? See, a, that's a fat joke. I pretended I was getting called, because I'm an elephant. J 
Just kidding. I'm a man. I am not an elephant. <laughs> what? Sorry, I thought I heard him calling again. Our foil, Dregscape Zombie. Our rare, Cyclonic li uh, Rift. This card is pretty good. Seven mana to overload, man. I forgot how much it was to overload. It's an insane overload. Don't get me wrong. But it's just insane that it costs that much. I forgot that it costs that much. Another Serum Visions. Do you like that Serum Visions? I missed the... the <laughs> I missed the non-family friendly version. <laughs> no, that would have been my preference. But... Ogre Jailbreaker. Probably one of the worst cards to get foiled out of this set. <laughs> oh, that's not a good call. And also one of the worst rares of the set. Evil Twin. I don't know if this card has any value. If I had to guess, it's worth 25 cents, if that. Why is this card? Why is this card in here? Is that getting played somewhere that I don't know about? Compulsive Research, Golgari Germination, Arcane Sanctum. Ugh. 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 Here we go. Deputy of Acquittals. Our rare, and this used to be Mythic. I can't believe this got busted down to rare. Obsidat, Ghost Council. It's legendary, and it has a memory effect. You have to remember to do this or not. Both remove them from play and return them to play. I'm so surprised that's a rare, but this is a super expert set. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not too terribly surprised. Good card, though. Good card. One of those Ravnica reprints. Just so weird. So weird that that's a Ravnica. I think Ravnica is getting so much reprint. There is Scourge Devil. Not getting much for value out of our foils. Here is Crater Hoof Behemoth. I did pull a foil Crater Hoof Behemoth out of the box I did on Twitch. So, this one's a little less underwhelming. He's not worth all that much, is he? I think the only thing that makes him worth anything is scarcity. Um, good card, though. I mean, I love to animate him all the time. He is exactly the creature I want to reanimate most of the time. Oh, man, I love cracking these packs. I know uh, Rudy at Alpha Investments was just having these pop right open on them, but maybe for me, uh, they're a little harder to open, but w easier than an average Magic card. Arachna Spinner, this was rare in the uh, the uh, core set that it was in. I miss core sets. And so, it would just when you think the cards can't get worse out of your packs. <laughs> oh, my God. Is there even a valuable one common there? Not really. Oh, brutal. So brutal. Oh, come on. Let's get some value. Is it Guildgate? Is it is it a Guildgate? Oh, this box. This box is very similar to my first box. Some of the exact same rares in the exact same orders. I wonder if that's a problem. Of course, I did get two fetch lands out of this box, out of that box, and none out of this one. So, oh, oh, I'm so frustrated. Oh, please, please take me to Value Town, Tarmogoyf or Lily or Snapcaster even or or God, I'll take a Cavern of Souls now. Please, two packs left. Here's... Okay, that's that's makes me feel a little bit better. Serum Visions foiled. That's a little bit better. I'm sure it's only like eight bucks now, but... Nice. And a rare... Oh! Exact order that they were in last time! Extractor Demon! Oh! No! No! All right. Okay. 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 This has to be a valuable card. This has to be a valuable card. Please, please let this one be good. All right, there's Chandra's Outrage. I like that card. Um, finally, <laughs> why? Why do you hate me, Magic Gods? Wart the Raid Mother. <laughs> no. Inquisition to Cole is like, well, I hope I got the good uncommons out of that box because I sure didn't get the rares. Ugh. Started off strong and ended weak as hell, man. All right. Well, as usual, guys, uh, thank you for watching. I'm sorry that this unboxing was a bit of a dud, but you know what? That's the risk you take. So keep, keep it in mind. If you're not going to draft these boxes, I don't recommend you picking them up. I recommend you buy singles from your local gaming store or from a website that you trust and keep that in mind. Let the idiots like me waste our money to get these kinds of singles into the market for you.
Not that you would want any of these. Guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again.